Fresh, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 8 a.m. Stella's on a scratch and roll. Stella really doesn't like to play much before breakfast. Good morning, Simba. What are you doing? Hanging out. Time for wheatgrass. I just looked outside and there's Hydrox. He was drinking out of the blue water tub and I haven't refilled the water in that water tub since I set it up. So maybe like a week. And I haven't been refilling the water because he's been getting water every day in the feeder. But he's not drinking the water out of the feeder um, I don't know if it's because it's dirty because of raccoons or maybe he just doesn't like warm water because um, it does stay a little bit warmer because it is a heated feeder so um, it's not like it's hot or anything like he would never burn himself on it but I would say it's like like when I put my fingers in it it's just like a little warmer than like room temperature well inside room temperature not outside room temperature because it's really cold out Right now the thermometer is like hovering just above 20 degrees. The cats are getting their breakfast. It's the nature's variety. Instinct raw bites. I'm also putting them back on the rescue remedy. I had stopped giving them uh, that for a while. Okay. Come on. See if I pet him with like a stiff hand. He's like okay with it for a while. Good morning, Boo. Hello. Boo ate all of his dinner. So when I gave it to him last night, at first he didn't eat it for a while. Then I put some crunchies on it, and then he ate uh, the crunchies, and then, I guess, over the course of the night, he ate his food. Boo loves his arches. Come on up. You're gonna come up? I would say second to the arches, Boo loves this um, turbo scratcher.
Okay, boo. Eat your food, you're on free roam. Hello, boo. How are you? I just opened the back door, and here's Hydrox. And there's Simba drinking out of the pitcher of hot water that I'm going to bring outside. So I'm kind of surprised that Hydrox did not run when I opened the back door. Like, he's just sitting there, he's holding his ground. The thermometer says it's like 26 degrees out. I just got out of the shower, my hair is still wet, but I am going to go outside and feed Hydrox because he's waiting there. So here's what's going on with the food bowls. The food bowl is empty and the water's still clean and half the water's gone. Now some of that could be from evaporation. So that's Hydrox's food. He's getting like a half can of this Pride by Instinct. It's the chicken and he's getting fresh water. And there he is hanging out on the patio. Right now he's about 12 to 15 feet away from me. But just the fact that he's hanging out on the patio is a good thing. Oh my God, what is going on? What is going on? He's stretching. And he just took a few steps towards me. So I'm not gonna hang out out here. I just wanna peek into that blue tub and uh, see what's going on in there and then let Hydrox eat. There's still a lot of dry food in the feeder, so that's good, he has that. So the water in the blue tub does have some debris in it, but it's not terribly, terribly dirty because because there is quite a bit of water in there. Uh, maybe I'll change that out later today, um, but at least it's not frozen, which is good. Okay, I just went inside and Hydrox just walked over to the food. What was so funny right now is that he was like sitting there watching me the minute I came inside and the minute the door shut, he like walked right over to the food. It was like, you know when you're training a dog and you're like sit and the dog sits and the dog behaves and then you're like, okay. And then the dog moves and gets a treat. It was exactly like that. It was like he was trained to sit there and the minute the door shut, it was like, okay, now he can eat. Hello Simba, I can't play with you right now, but I'll leave the back door open so you can look outside, okay? Okay? It is 9.32 p.m. Stella was a good girl today. She's been hanging out downstairs with Simba and Splash. Well, at least I think Splash is down there. Um, I haven't really seen him since this morning. I have family over today, and um, there's been a lot going on in my house. There's plumbing issues. And um, it's just been crazy, so I haven't had a chance to really film anything today. Um, but one of the things I like to do is when I have new people over their house, I like to try to convince one of them to feed the cats. Because the cats are the most friendly when they're hungry and they want to eat. Um, because otherwise, uh, they do get a little weirded out by new people, um, especially people that they haven't met before. Usually when they've interacted with someone, I don't know, like a handful of times, then they start uh, trusting that person more. So right now I am uh, bribing Stella out with her favorite toy and a scratch and roll. So she came out and Simba came out. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to see if they like the undercover mouse. They've never played with this before. Only Boo's played with this before.
I knew Simba was going to do that. He pulled it right off. Ten oh nine PM. I just looked over and this is what's going on. Simba has removed the mouse from the undercover mouse toy. And he's been playing with it on its own. Cause you know he loves to chew things.
Now he's going after that little piece that holds the mouse wand on. Simba is a very smart cat. See, at this point, Boo always just loses interest and walks away. But Simba's like going after that little piece. So this is what I have rigged up right now. I have this gate on the bottom. This is the taller gate. I have a space um, where the doorknob is, and I have the shorter gate on top. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this door, it opens in, and then I'm gonna put the screen door in front of it. And um, let's see what happens. Okay, so right now I actually have three gates. I have this white gate, which is holding the screen door in here. There is the other gate um, on the other side of the white gate, and then there's this gate. So there's three gates and a screen door. Okay, so Simba just went up to this gate and he hissed and he growled. Then he walked away. And poor Boo, he's like, he has no idea what's going on. Boo was meowing like he wanted to be friends. It's okay, Boo. You'll have friends. Stella just hissed at Boo twice. She's still hissing. She's walking away and hissing. It's okay, Boo. She doesn't mean to be mean, okay? So right now I'm giving them treats. I just gave Boo a treat. I made a little space uh, on the side of the screen door where I could slide some treats in. And, and I just gave Simba a treat. I'm gonna try to lure them closer and closer together with treats. Right now they're both eating treats relatively close to each other. So I've gotten Simba pretty close to the gate. Boo is on the other side eating his treats. Hey, hey, that's your daddy. That's your daddy. Boo's your daddy. I put Simba's treat right on that white gate. It's okay. It's okay, Simba. Hi, right, Boo. Simba, here's your treat right here. There's a treat right there. Come on. You want it? Boo wants it. You don't want your treat, Simba? Here, right here. 
The other cats just went downstairs, so I am going to disassemble uh, all these gates and uh, let Boo out of his room for a while. Thank you.